everybody welcome back to another little vlog so i wasn't actually gonna vlog today but i just thought it is a beautiful day i've finished work for the day as well actually and yeah, the sun is shining and obviously i need a bit of sun in my life right now because i don't be feeling the best you know so i'm obviously starting this vlog on a bit of a downer but I just want to be honest with you guys because obviously I have been single for like a couple of weeks now and obviously when you know, the breakup happened and stuff I was really sad but I think because obviously like I do have a lot of free time and stuff so I'm always actively thinking about everything that's obviously happened and stuff um, and I don't really feel like 100% and that's okay to admit that you know so I just want to have like a little chat with you all really but yeah so i obviously haven't been feeling like 100 percent, and i am just i am obviously trying to t i obviously trying to take my mind off things you know but i feel because obviously he was like a big part of my youtube channel as well a lot of people obviously a lot of people a lot of people obviously got to know him and everything and obviously when the breakup happens online and like he had been documenting your relationship online i feel as if your kind of followers and subscribers you can get upset about it as well but i have had a lot of support from you guys people personally message me asking if i'm okay and honestly thank you so much like i really do appreciate it you know but it's obviously weird like spending most of your days off with someone it's obviously not spending any time with them at all and obviously like i do see my friends but not often just because I live a busy life and they live busy lives and it just isn't as easy to see people at my kind of age now because I'm at the age of where like, I'm not school anymore, I'm not college, I'm working full time. Obviously working on business, like it's a big thing. So I am going to go on a little walk but I'm not even joking, it's absolutely red hot today. Like I don't even know how many degrees it is to be quite with you all, I don't know what my phone is. Right, I'm going to look at my phone and see how hot it is but... It is, let's have a look, 21 degrees and it feels as if it should be warm to be honest but yeah I am going to have a walk into town, the only thing is with town is like it's so busy on a Saturday and the most likely we'll see the most likely we'll see someone who I know, but I'm just going to have a walk because the car uses a lot of petrol at the moment it's because I have been busy working mobile. I just thought I would kind of obviously talk to you guys about the home feeling and stuff because like it is all right to not feel 100% all the time and obviously you know, no one's perfect and no one has a perfect life like I only really try to film videos you know, when I'm happy because obviously I'm not going to film when I'm sad but yeah like it's just like I don't know I just think it, it hasn't even been well yeah, by the time this video goes out, it'll be three weeks. Go through different stages of emotions and stuff, don't you? So, uh, yeah, but I'm very grateful for my family as well to obviously, like, be... Obviously, like, support me and stuff and, you know, but... Yes, yeah, so outfit of the day. I have on a bodysuit from the PLT. Honestly, I haven't ordered off PLT in a year, probably. But it's actually very good quality because I do have... A I do actually have a white bodysuit from Primark and it's see-through to hell. So this actually isn't see-through. I do have like a white strapless bra on it, uh, but it seems to be fine. And these shorts, funnily enough, are from PLT as well. But I've had these for years and these are actually really good quality. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I'm going to try and show you like the rips in them. Yeah, there we go. So I think they are pretty nice, to be quite honest with you all. I might have a walk in Bits Park. If you don't know what Bits Park is, probably like, a lot of people don't. But like it's like this park in Carlisle and like it is quite... Nice, but I feel as if I look like a sad one walking around on my own because I do get really, you're not anxious, but I get a bit nervous walking around on my own, like especially in town and stuff. I, I feel as if everyone's watching me. Like, does anyone else feel like that? Because I'm sure I'm not the only person. It might just be a girl thing. I don't know. Right, so I am on a walk. We're basically walking back from town because I literally went to shops and that was enough for me. Like, oh my god, town was so busy. And then like, I've, I've literally walked past Bits Park. I'm literally walking by the castle now. Oh my god, it was so busy, so hot, and I was just feeling so stressed out. So I was like, I'm just gonna walk through the park and like be nice and quiet. No, I was wrong because it's absolutely boiling. How does you feel? Is if my fake tan is sweating off as well? Like it's actually so hot, and as I said, it is gonna be 32 degrees on, on Tuesday, so I'm actually dreading that as well. 
But so yeah, but I literally hear vlogging in public and I've had about like 10 people staring at me already, so <laughs> they're just talking to a camera, but you know, I don't know why people look over just because like, it does look a bit, a bit weird, but it's what it is. I've just tried to take my mind off things, but like, I just feel really lonely because obviously like I'm the only one walking. I'm a family aunt in Carlisle, so I feel like I'm in the city on my own, but I am. So not good. Honestly, you don't know how tired I am and dying for a drink. I was probably only out for like an hour and 15, but yeah, my hair is a mess. I did actually powder my face before I went out because obviously my fit, like, I have a really bad oily skin, so I do struggle with a lot of kind of oil on my face, like half throughout the day. So I, I, I did repowder my face, but as you can tell, it is very glowy again. Yeah, I do try to keep it to a minimum, but it just it never works. I'm so tired. Also, I do have some magic stars I'm going to have. Yeah, my family are not going to be home for like another 45 minutes, so... I need this right now. I only really allow myself to have the one fizzy drink a day because I'm obviously very thin about my teeth. So, this is the only kind I'm going to have. I am trying to drink more water, however, it is really hard because obviously water gets boring and like, I do have to sometimes, but obviously, as I've already said, I like my teeth to be very well looked after. So, I do a lot of chocolate though, and yeah, that's my guilty pleasure, but you know. I just spilt it down me. Oh no, it's on there. Oh, what am I like? Honest to God, guys, like I'm, I'm literally so clumsy with stuff like this. Like, yeah, I don't know what I'm like. But yeah. And if you wonder why I have a roll of kitchen roll in my room, it's because I use it to clean my brushes with, but I also use it for sp I, I also use it for spillages because I'm obviously so bad at obviously all this crap. But yes, yeah, so the camera's gonna die, but I'm just gonna keep vlogging till it dies because it will survive. I will survive. Yeah, so I'm gonna go down and get a drink. I am actually starving. I think I'm having chicken korma and and I'm bread tonight for tea, so I'm quite excited because to be honest, I have been struggling to eat. Um I can still kind of eat, but I mean, I'm not really eating as big a portions, and I think it has been to do with it been really struggling to sleep because of the heat, and also like, it has been really hot, so I just feel as if I'm not as hungry. So, yeah, it's a really good thing right now. And then also, Royal Mail have delivered a thing, and basically, a parcel for one of us saying that we need to pay the full postage, and that we have to go to like the actual the Royal Mail depot, so that's a the thing I've got to do on say parcels. It, it seems to have a problem for it seems to have a problem with parcels at our house at the moment. They're never getting delivered and stuff and like you have to go and collect them, like come on. So I am gonna have what should I have? I'm actually bought this M and S at high juice and it actually smells quite nice. It's actually apple and mango. So what is high juice? Is it just like the higher quality juice or something? And yeah, you would never shop at MS. It should, if you go as in for like the odd thing, because you it, it like shopping at Lidl, because Lidl is the best. But Lidl is better than Aldi actually, so. I'm so hot right now. Yeah, so plans for tomorrow, I don't have any plans. I might, uh, how I been to town? I really fancy going to a Dermot Kennedy concert because I have been listening to him all day every day lately um, and his music is really good so if anybody's watching this and you live nearby and you would like to go to a Dermot Kennedy concert hit me up um i think it's only two currently he's actually touring in america oh, oh sorry this is the bloody washing machine okay thank you for my vlog yeah so like he's actually touring in what's it called I forgot what it's called. Yeah. America. Um so sort of not going there. And then he's actually they're going to be playing in Ireland on the day I get back from holiday. So I'm actually good. And mum said, Oh, get yourself to Ireland to go and see the concert. I was like, hey, Mum, 
they were flying home that day, I can't do that. So yeah, I'm sad about that. I can't tell you, oh yeah, this is my dream. <laughs> it literally like a load of glasses get dumped here and I can always tell if it's mine because it always has like a lipstick like stain on it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try. She also did buy this one as well. The black currant and I do drink a lot of them too, which is kind of black currant grey. But oh my god, this smells very like sweet. I think a bit too sweet for me, yeah. But I want to give some a try because I don't really have like apple and mango, well, orange juice, but I don't know how much to put in. Do you have to put like the same amount of cordial in? I don't know. Right, let's give this a try. You know what? It's all right. I was expecting better things, but like it does have like a really nice taste though, but I feel like M&S food is just another level. Leave a comment down below if you guys are on holiday this year, because I am excited to go to Greece soon. I am very excited. Now, firstly, please excuse this awful orangeness on my hands. The fake tan just never goes well these days, but um, I have had my tea. I was very hungry, because basically when I got in, I basically had half a bag of Magic Stars. I was absolutely starving because I've not actually had a lot to eat today. I've had my pancakes and Kinder Bueno, I had a chocolate cookie, my pizza, Magic Stars, and then my dad actually made a homemade kind of chicken tikka with, with peppers in, the baby corn, obviously chicken in it as well. Um, and I'm not actually keen on baby corn, but it do kind of taste okay in the curry anyway, but my dad... It does make really nice food, so you can't really complain when you have a chef in the house. Basically, my mum is always ordering, well, she's not always ordering, but she regular, regularly, regularly, is that, a, is that the right word, is that the right word, regularly, orders from H&M, um, and surprisingly, the things on there are, are very cheap. I think she must have ordered quite a few things in the sale, but... I think she kind of ordered them more for Bonnie just because obviously Bonnie obviously it, she likes to order clothes more but obviously if if nothing kind of fit her I'll sit with her and of course I would try it on because like yeah, why not you know so basically I'm actually keeping a couple of dresses you know it's me trying to save money and then all of a sudden I've got two dresses but yeah, the price of them is so good so firstly I have this little pink dress it looks really baby pink on the camera, but it's more of like a bubble gummy pink. Um, and if you have this for you all, it does kind of look like a 90. A 90? When I have it on it, it's really cute, but it, it does look really, really pale on camera. I don't know why this camera always picks the things up really lightly, but yeah, it's a really good quality little dress. It's in a size extra small. This is part of the divided section, which I think... Is it the kind of teenage section? I'm not quite sure, but it is really cute. Um, and I love my pink dress. And have a guess how much is this, guys? It was six blooming pounds. Yes, you heard that right, six pounds. I was like, oh my God, all the moon. So I will try that on. Right, so firstly is the first dress. I do apologize for lighting. I will move towards the window, but I can tell this dress is a really lovely fit on me. It does show off my little bum and it also does show my bloated tummy right now because I have just had a big meal and it actually is really comfortable um, and obviously like, it does have you know, the little lace detail in there, a little bow, um, it but I think it's a really nice dress, it's a gorgeous colour and it goes above my knees which I do prefer as well. This is a little dress, how cute does this look? Obviously my bum looks so good, I, I, I'm not... I'm obviously not like, oh my god, I look really nice, but I like a little bum in it, okay, because yeah, people always comment about me on my bum, alright? <laughs> it's just one of them things, okay, but yeah, I love this dress, and this, the camera's wonky, so yay, yeah, brilliant. And then secondly, we have a dress, which is very kind of unusual for me, I don't, I don't actually have any dresses in this style, but it's basically this kind of, I won't even know how to describe it, it's like this little dress, it's kind of got a top on this half and then like a really flowy skirt on the bottom and yeah, this was £7 and this is really good quality as well extra small part of the divided section and this is meant to, oh no, like the, it's not an actual price on this but when I first tried this on 
I was kind of thinking, do I suit it, do I not? But the more I kind of looked at it, I was like, oh my god, obsessed. So I'm, I will try that on, and that was seven pounds. I don't know if I just said that. It's seven pounds. Then here is this dress. So at first, I was a bit like, oh my god, I'm not really keen on it. But I think the more you kind of look at it, you kind of think it is really nice. Like it, like it is a very different style of dress for me because I usually like to go for tight fitting ones. Whereas this one is more kind of, more, what's the right word? I'll probably call this more like picnic date type dress. It's a lot more kind of like, it's giving me the kind of 80s vibes for like this kind of flowy skirt. But honestly, I love the colour, obviously. You can't go wrong with a white dress really. I like how it is kind of cut out on the sides and for £7 I think it's really good. I do feel as if I, I look like a bit of like a cheerleader, but without all the colourful colours on it, like you know, like the. Ooh, I don't know. What's your guys' opinion? And what would you rate it out of ten? I'll probably give this an eight out of ten. Basically, it's next day now again, and I am going to show you a little haul because I did actually go to Primark again. So yeah, I'm always going to Primark at the moment. I have been having a look in town for a few holiday bits, but when I went into town yesterday on my own I, I literally just felt as if it, it was really busy because like it was a Saturday anyway um, oh my god I do have a really sore head so like, I do have some Pepsi raspberry the Pepsi Max raspberry is actually really nice so so nice and yeah so basically first thing in Primark I've been eyeing this up for ages and I've always wanted to book it hard and this it, it just could be a tube for that Bigetta brand or Botteca or something like that. I, you'll have to correct me, but it's this little bucket hat. The five pounds, how good is that? And they also had this in green, but I just thought you know, this colour is a bit more kind of my kind of style. So I do have a bucket hat and I do feel as if I look like an explorer of it on, but you know what? I, I do think it is really cool. So for five pounds, it is really nice. And you do have the matching bags for these as well but I don't need any bags so I'm very happy with that. I am going to keep this on for the haul just because I think it's quite exciting. But then I got some nipple petals because I've always needed these um, and they're actually in the last packet and these were £2 so these are basically the one for if you do have like a see-through top on or you don't you want to wear a bra and this can basically obviously cover your nipple and this can basically cover your nipples but now these are basically you know, the size of my boobs, like you know, any of the size of my nipples, but the TMI probably. But you know what? <laughs> I've got some. The final packet, I was happy with that, you know, obviously buzzing. And then I've got this beautiful skirt. And so basically, you know, they do have a lot of cords in the moment, and they do have a matching kind of of, of top to this. I did try you know, the top on, but I think it was a size eight because basically. All of the labels inside of these, they were like, they were totally different size to what they were. So like, I picked up a size 6 top and thought it was a size 6, but it was actually like a size 8. And then they had size 4, the skirts and these were actually like a size 12. So this says it's a size 4, but I think it's a size 6. Um, and the, the lady worked at Primark did say how like there's, there's been a bit of like a mix up with all the sizings on stuff. So but yeah, but I basically got this little skirt and... It is really cute, it does actually tie up on here, but I didn't actually tie it up, but like, it's like this kind of flowy skirt and I am, I am obviously going on holiday to Corfu soon, so it is very cute and if I do manage to get the matching the top, I'll get it obviously, but if I don't, I am actually going to buy a little crop, like a little kind of white or yellowy crop top, which will look nice with this. So yeah, I got that and this was actually, let's have a look how much it was. Eleven pounds. It does say a size four, but I don't think it is a size four. But that is very cute, and it have a lovely, a lot of lovely little sets in there. And then I also got some makeup wipes. A three packs actually. I don't even know how much these were. These were. A pound actually. That's really good for a pound. All these little makeup wipes. They're very handy when you're an MUA. Yeah, I love that. And then I actually went into the, the super drug and actually speaking of MUA, I, I did get 
the three MUA kind of lip liners for myself because when it comes to makeup for myself, I never really like treat myself to like the more expensive stuff just because I just I like to kind of use the more expensive makeup on my clients. So I have got the Love Letter, it's like a pink one. I have got the TLC, which is like a perfect nude there. And then I've also got Sincere. Um, and these were all 140 each, which I think is really good. But only thing is, in my super drug, half of the lip liners were open. So it was really frustrating. But these are all nicely sealed. And for 140, you can't really go wrong. Because obviously, like, we don't have a Morphe shop near me. So, and I do prefer the pencil lip liners just for a more kind of like defined kind of lip. Um, and my Morphe one it's running very low so i'll be able to use all these and the nice kind of nude everyday colors that i like and hopefully work all right as well so i'll let you guys know and then i also got i got to be glued hairspray and milkos and a shimmer spray deodorant because mine's running out and of course in the summertime we like to top up spray deodorant more often um then finally from the new look actually i never go in new look but yeah, their clothes are actually really nice and they did have a sale on but this wasn't part of the sale area but I did actually manage to save some money on it because my mum works for it. my mum actually works for the NHS and she does get some money off so thanks mum for saving a few pounds but anyway I've got this lovely nude bodysuit and you're probably thinking why why didn't you buy one from Primark well basically Primark bodysuits some of them are really poor quality but the ones from New Look if you've ever been in New Look and felt the quality of them they are really nice and this is meant to be 14 99 I believe um, and my mum actually got me my mum actually got 20% off so I think it came to 11 99 to save £3 which is really good so I love that and we did have all sorts of different colours I had pink, blue, green a kind of creamy colour which I, I did nearly go for um, and a brown colour as well but I thought it's new to colour it's I don't actually have this colour, but it's really nice and really good quality again, so I'm happy with that. And the new look actually is really nice with the clothes on there, not too badly priced either, so I'm very happy with all of them. But I think, like I said, I think I've got a new bucket hat, honestly, I'm obsessed with it. But yeah, so like update on home feeling and stuff. So obviously, yesterday I, I was having a very down day, um, and I I am kind of happy I vlogged yesterday. Nice lovely day today. It's a Sunday as well, so I have the full day off. I was obviously working this morning, but yeah, I, I just feel as if yesterday I was just very down in the dumps, but I am feeling better today, which is always positive. So yeah, but anyway, I am obviously just going to put everything away now because I've obviously given you all a little haul. I am going to end this little vlog here, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little vlog. I'm hoping it has been somewhat entertaining for you all, but if you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!